Hi guys, welcome to this Chris Ryan golf video. Um, we're going to go through um, a video here on, on some drills or some techniques that are going to help you make better contact with the irons, how to hit it more solid. We see a lot of guys coming through the academy who, who simply just don't use the correct part of the golf club and strike the ball as we'd like them to. So they often hit the ground a little bit early or they'll often use the bottom of the club to the leading edge or, or possibly the first couple of grooves. So what we would generally tend to, tend to see is that the low points of the arc, so where the club reaches its lowest point, is, is too far this way. Okay, So it's either sort of in line with the golf ball or perhaps even just before the golf ball. And what that does, it makes it really difficult to strike, make, makes it more difficult to use the correct part of the golf club, which is around about four to five grooves up the club face. And it also makes it more difficult to control the trajectory and get the best impact conditions. Okay, So what we're going to do is we're going to get you set three golf balls, Okay, and you're going to place them in a line like this. Okay? And we're sim very simply going to hit the middle golf ball. Now the other two golf balls are just to let us know where we made contact with the ground. Now what you'll probably find is if you're the kind of person who struggles with the contact on your irons, the contact point will be too far this side. Here, okay? So it's going to be too far behind the golf ball. And what we want to try and do is get it to be more target side. So the lowest part of that arc is probably two to three inches this side of the golf ball. Okay? I've got a seven iron here, so for my ball speed, I'm looking for a, a downward blow of around about four degrees. That may vary. Um, we're not looking for, to, for you to be as steep as that. If you've got a slower club head speed or a slower ball speed, it might be looking at one to two, maybe three degrees. Okay? But we certainly need to be making a downward hit. Now, if you're the kind of person who's going to struggle, so if you, if you take this sort of test or this drilling, you start to find that your contact point is is too early, then that would suggest two things, or two main things. It would suggest that there's not enough weight forward, and it would suggest that the hand of the golf club isn't enough forward. Okay? There could be other factors as well, so I'm not saying these are the only two, but these are probably the most common ones, and these are the ones we maybe want to focus on more so. So if I take a starting position, and if I work up to the top, if I can make a move where my hips move forward to put more pressure through my left side, and I can return the golf club with the handle forward, that's going to allow me to strike the ground here and the low point to be after the golf ball. This is going to give me the correct positions that I need to be able to get the right divot pattern that I require. If I move on to my right side too much in the backswing, don't shift the weight forward enough. Okay? My swing center is too far behind the golf ball. My low point is going to be over here somewhere. I'm going to find that I either hit the ground too early or on the next swing if I try and miss the ground, then I'm going to miss everything altogether. On the golf course, those would be the shots where we hit heavy or the shots that we hit thin. Okay, So we really want to try and get this contact point in the right place. Now initially you might find that it's a little bit easier to do it without a golf ball. So you can just take your starting position and you can just rehearse making contact with the ground in line with the golf balls and the divot's going to be target side. Okay, So you can see from the camera angle there that the divot started in line with those and it continued target side of the golf ball. Okay, So have a go, try it without a golf ball initially. Try it with a golf ball after that and just start to see where your strike is. Okay? And you'll start to get some really good feedback from this drill. Okay? So obviously it can only be done off turf, but if you can find some turf and have a go at this, really going to give us good information about your swing. And if you can start to work into those positions that we spoke about, then hopefully you're going to get some better results. Okay? So let me just set these golf balls up. I'm going to hit one at the range and see what kind of strike we can get.